Welcome back to our YouTube channel. Today, we will learn how to check for homostaticity using GraphPad Prism, a powerful statistical software widely used for data analysis and visualization. Homostaticity is an essential assumption in many statistical tests, and by the end of this video, you'll know how to assess it in your data. So, let's get started. The first step is to open GraphPad Prism and import your dataset. You can either copy and paste the data or import it from a file. Make sure your data is organized correctly, with each column representing a different variable and each row corresponding to an individual observation. Once your data is imported, the next step is to create a scatter plot. Click on the new graph button and select scatter from the options. Choose the appropriate X and Y variables from your data columns. This will create a scatter plot with data points corresponding to your variables. To check for homostaticity, we need to add a trend line to the scatter plot. Click on any data point in the plot to select the data set, and then go to the Fit Linear Regression menu and check the residuals box. After fitting the linear model, we want to examine the residuals. Residuals represent the vertical distance between each data point and the fitted line. To display residuals, click on the Residuals tab in the Results window. The residual plot will now be visible. Homostaticity means that the residuals should be randomly scattered around zero with no systematic pattern. In other words, the spread of residuals should be relatively constant across all levels of the predictor variable, S. If you observe a fan-like or funnel-shaped pattern in the residual plot, it suggests heterostaticity, which violates the assumption of homostaticity. This indicates that the variability of the residuals changes systematically with the predictor variable, S. And there you have it. You now know how to check for homostaticity using GraphPad Prism. Remember, homostaticity is a crucial assumption for various statistical tests, and by following these steps, you can ensure the validity of your analyses. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more tutorials like this. Feel free to leave any questions or suggestions in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next video.